Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in Monster Hunter World. Uh, we will start inside of the game with all the parameters that they give you to change. After that, we will go inside of uh, the game. Uh, I have a couple of optim optimization that we can do with Windows 10. And uh, finally, we will look at the config file. So let's start with this. Make sure you're playing full screen. I had a lot of issue with the... Uh, all the other modes like borderless, window mode and stuff like that. Full screen is the best in this game. Uh, resolution setting, I'm playing full HD for sure after the guide if you still don't get your 60, uh, lower your resolution. Uh, I uncap my frame rate, V-Sync off and uh, graphics setting manual. So open this. Image quality, it's kind of weird, it's your rendering resolution so I'm letting it at high. You can go at medium but you have to know that your image quality will decrease a lot so change all the other parameter before changing this one. Texture quality, not a big thing, it depends on your VRAM, I have 8GB on my car so I just play at full. If you have something like 2GB maybe you should think about medium or even low. Ambient occlusion, you can gain 3-4% to just by removing this one so kind of important. This. Uh, shadows, uh, reflection, those one are, uh, yeah, they, 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 um, they have a huge impact on your frame rate in this game. Uh, volume rendering quality, this is more like volumetric fog and stuff like that. Uh, I'm playing at medium, but again, if you have an integrate like GPU and stuff like that, definitely you should put this one at low. You can gain 2 to 3% for each bracket. Shadow quality, I'm playing at low, 3 to 4%. Uh, for each bracket, so huge FPS increase when you put this one at low. Anti-aliasing, I'm playing at FXAA. Don't remove it because uh, the game looks like shit if you remove the anti-aliasing. And FXAA is doing the job without taking too much resources. Uh, this is uh, the, adjust the distance at which LOD L model switch. So this one you should definitely lower it. Uh, it's your, it's like what you render in front of you. So put it some, something like at medium or even low. You don't want to render too much in front of you uh, because it will take more resources. So this one kind of important too. Uh, you will gain three to four uh, FPS for each bracket. Foliage wake for me was a huge increase. Honestly, I got like seven FPS by removing it. It's like when the grass and stuff like that move, uh, and you have a lot of grass and trees and stuff like that in this game. So this one is kind of important. Uh, sub uh, subsurface scattering, I'm just letting add on. Not a big uh, improvement for me. Uh, screen space reflection, put this one at off. Same thing with water reflection. So both reflection, you can gain four uh, percent of FPS increase with this. Uh, and isotropic filtering, I'm letting it at I. You can definitely lower it, but not a big impact like 1 to 2 FPS for each bracket. Uh, this one I'm letting at I. Dynamic range, 32 bits. Uh, motion blur, I'm removing it. Uh, it doesn't give you more FPS, but I really don't like the, uh, the effect. So I, this is more like a preference. And depth of field, I'm remo removing it. I'm getting like 2 to 3% uh, percent of increase when I remove this one. When you're done, just apply and that's it so after that uh, go where you install the game monster world uh, right click on it click properties go to compatibility make sure that disable full screen optimization is check after that oops sorry change idpi make sure that override idpl scaling behavior is check also finally uh your config file the config file is here graphic option here uh, so all the stuff that you're putting here um, it's pretty much there if you want to add like comment and stuff like that but not comment like a new parameter or parameter that you saw that you want to change uh, you have like some preset here that already there so you can take one and just switch it to the, the, the other file so this is where the magic happens uh, last thing if you have an issue with the CPU and stuff like that uh, you can find a couple of mod that will increase are you FPS? Uh, so just look at Steam. Uh, I saw that the mod K uh, kind of like figure out an issue with the, uh, the the thread on your CPU. So if you see that your game is struggling and you don't understand because you have like kind of a good computer, uh, just look at the, those mod on Steam and it, they will help you a lot. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section, your CPU, RAM, GPU, and ask me a question. And I will try to help you the best that I can. Peace.